So I'm thinking of selling Anna's Acura ILX. I guess an ILX. <laughs> uh, she's had this car for a while now, and uh, maybe it's time for a change. Let's see. Check the mic and make sure it sounds right, boy. So normally we don't like to keep our cars way too long because obviously, you know, we sell cars and uh, I, I personally get tired of the cars after a while. I want something different. This one is a very good car. It's been good to us. Kind of had this car for maybe two to three years now. Uh, I think we bought this car late 2019 or if not early uh, 2020. So yeah, two years, maybe three years the most, okay? In that time, uh, the car had 80,000 kilometers on it. Uh, the dealership is technically the second owner. It was a one owner car at the time of purchase. It now has 113,000 kilometers on it. Uh, so I guess we didn't do that crazy driving over the period of time. Uh, service with us, we put new tires on it. Uh, well, obviously my new wipers. Uh, the car is maintained pretty well, but I don't know. I'm just thinking with the crazy prices right now, I'm willing to fish. I kind of want to go fishing. I normally do that every couple of years or so put our car in the market just to see what what it can bring in you know how much can we actually get for it and obviously I don't want to downgrade her vehicle so I have to think what am I gonna get for this car and what can I buy with the money I'm getting for this car so um, I'm not fully sure yet if I'm actually gonna sell it or uh, what I'm gonna buy it but I'm in research mode right so whenever I'm in kind of I got something in my head I just like to kind of put it out there to see if you know what happened so if anybody is interested in that kind of car you can hit me up it's a 2016 like i mentioned ilx i probably will eventually do a walk around video so you know you can see this car in more detail um very good uh what do they call them uh, eight spec you got the tiptronics on it lane assist um, adaptive cruise control uh tiptronic uh you got the paddle shifters here um rain sensitive wipers we did crack the windshield uh, on the highway. I'm gonna get that replaced. Obviously, you got sunroof. It's tinted. Um, what else can I say about it? Leather trim. Why well, we call it leather trim? Because uh, the middle does not have leather, but the sides does. Uh, it, it's heated seats. It's a great car, uh, you know, and I'm sure it will be good value. I do not know what it sells for an auto trader yet. Maybe I'll research it and pop the price up here uh, to kind of figure out what range I want to be in. And again. There's two factors before I sell it. One, I gotta know how much I can get for it, obviously. And two, what kind of car in this crazy market can I get for Anna in this budget? And and is it gonna be a better car or a shittier car? Or maybe a car that can be even more temporary, maybe a car that I can flip again to get even something better, right? So if I can't find something that great, then I might just have to let her hang on to this one for a little bit longer. The only negative thing on this car, uh, which is not for me, but for some people might be, is there is an accident in the history, or there was an accident in the history. Now, in order for me to get my cars cheap enough, I always buy uh, some sort of accident history vehicle. This vehicle here, when it was new, so it's a 2016, and it was in 2016, it had 6,000 kilometers on it, based on the Carfax, uh, it had a seventeen thousand dollar claim, I say. Let's just say close to twenty grand, okay, uh, for argument's sake. But there was a huge claim on it based on the dollar value. And why I say dollar value is because I always try to even tell you guys when you're buying cars, don't just judge the price of the accident history. You gotta look at, you know, first of all, when the accident was, how old the car was, what the kilometers in the car was to determine you know the values then go price in 2022 acura ilx headlight and i bet you that shit's probably three or four grand <laughs> you know I, I, no I'm, I'm serious like the lights are fucking expensive and so it's very easy when you got a newer car and somebody give it a little touch you got a little hit on it and a claim could bubble up to 20 grand very easy including hsd parts and labor and all that kind of stuff so it doesn't mean it was a serious accident it's just based on the, what the parts were at the time it seems expensive however the accident was 6,000 kilometers the car have 113,000 kilometers I want to believe that whatever issues it had was ironed out the car drives beautiful we have no issues with the car since then no engine lights no nothing okay so anyway if, if you're interested in this car uh, you could definitely email us at uh, Louisa Auto uh, before I put it on uh, Auto Trader I'll put the email in the description below um, 
and let me know if you're interested in buying this car catch you in the next one Thank you.